Hello everyone and welcome to The Last Campfire. This is a little game made by Hello Games, the people that did No Man's Sky, but it was like a really small team of only a few people inside that studio that were working on this over a, over a couple of years and it honestly just looks so cute and fun from the trailers that I just thought I've got to give it a go. So let us do exactly that, let us begin. Uh, I'm not sure if there's dialogue. Is there dialogue? Music? Narrator? Sure. Yes, that's all good. New game then. Normal mode. Sounds good to me. Right. I'm, I'm optimistic that it's going to be good. The trailer just looks so cute, man. Really digging the vibe of it. Oh. Little group of dudes canoeing their way down a river. It is very, very dark around them. Just the one dude at the front with a light on his head. Was that like a flame on his forehead? Oh, hello, this guy's behind the pack. Is this going to be our guy? Lagging behind. Is he going to get separated? Is that going to be the how things begin here? Come on little dude. Let's get the pace going. They've, they've developed this amazing technique where they only paddle on the right-hand side and yet they made it down that whole river in a straight line whilst never paddling on the left. Pretty impressive stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Looks like he may have been left behind. Is the door going to be shut by the time he gets there and he doesn't have the horn to get through? Hello, little birdie. I'm guessing my dude can't swim. Otherwise, you'd totally just hop out there and swim in, right? <laughs> so I'm guessing water is a big no-no for this guy. I wonder why they were all wearing blue cloaks and he was wearing red. Oh, that's ominous. Trees growing up around him. Yikes. Okay. This is a place where the lost embers go. There is a place oh. where the lost embers go. That will be the narration. As the light begins to fade. Oh wait, are we blue now? We weren't blue a second ago, were we? There is a place where the lost embers go when their light begins to fade, eh? Ember stood still, unable to face what was to come. So this isn't the real world still? We've been transported, I guess? Okay, what options do we have? Face buttons don't do anything. We've got the pause, obviously. Nothing on the back button, nothing on the triggers or bumpers. Yeah, it's just the moving at the moment, and I can't control the camera either. Just so you are aware, it is a it is a fixed camera. Right now. Can't walk off the edge. The wall glistened. The painting showed embers on a sacred journey. Okay. Oh, 
Uh oh, place is collapsing. Hello. Emperor felt so afraid and alone. Oh no. That it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Wait, is this guy alive? Doesn't look alive to me. No. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away. When they noticed a small satchel. I'll be having that then. Cheers, mate. Sorry about your death, but <laughs> I'll make sure you're useful. Wow. Rip. Stranger's Satchel. The satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. Interesting. Okay, I'm guessing we can't just head through here. Wait, maybe we can. There was a symbol on the floor. Is it just stand on this to open the door? There was a symbol on the floor. No. Ember noticed something wrong. The fire's turned upside down? nice there was a round space where something used to fit wonder if it could possibly be the golden statue to embers the light the golden statue slid perfectly into place hold a to pick up a piece aha Start a puzzle. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. I mean, I don't think the stranger will mind. I think the stranger stopped minding quite a while ago because all his flesh is rotted off. <laughs> Not to bring us down or anything, but that is what's happened there. <laughs> the stairway opened into a dark forest. The forest, the journey Ember begins. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Still uh, very much a controlled camera, so uh, I'm guessing that's probably going to be the case for the entire game then, which is fine, so long as it doesn't uh, <laughs> it doesn't mess up at any point. <laughs> Ember felt like they were being watched. Hey, we have a dash now. Whee! Hello. The foxes howled into the night. Look at these cute little foxes. The only reply was silence. Aww. The path was blocked. Okay, gotta be wary of like offshoots because obviously because you can't turn the camera yourself, you've just gotta like when the path splits here, you've just gotta head into it to see uh, what might be going on there. Will they be hiding anything behind trunks or anything? Probably not. Okay, what have we got here then? The route ahead was guarded by twin statues, choked by clinging vines. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. The guiding light discovering a purpose. With a feeling like falling, the forest fell away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. Hmm. 
can't push that. What's up here? There was totally something over there I could do also. The caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. Ooh, Slidey McSliderson. Okay, I'm gonna guess I need to pull the other one also. Wait, no, but I can't. Oh, right. That's blocked off, so you had to do the left one first. I see, I see. Hope was almost within reach. Okay, we do it. Pretty, pretty basic puzzles starting out here, but uh, hopefully it'll get much more puzzling later on. I wasn't really sure what the gameplay of this game even was, but it seems like it's going to be fate based around some kind of puzzles because we had the little slidey block puzzle also very basic right at the start and now a larger scale puzzle here the flame spoke and ember listened so potentially that is going to be the main gameplay focus is getting opening areas via the completion of puzzles perhaps that was a really cool animation of that cage disappearing like that. Is it going to open the way for us? It is. Cheers, my dears. The flame lingered ahead. Come back to me, little flame. Was it trying to escape? Hang on, <laughs> I just want to check. Uh, there's nothing I'm missing over here, is there? No. We're leading the way. Hmm. It seems like there's a way over here, but you can't get there. Hello, this is suddenly opening up a bit. Paths down left and right and forward. Oh, hello. What is that now? Hmm. Ooh. Restoring people to life with these things we collect? The campfire flickered into life. Uh... <laughs> Ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. They will be safe here. I will warn them. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. Where am I? This is a place between places. To travel through as your light fades. But none have passed in a long time. The Forest King holds us here, and those who dwell too long turn forlorn. Gonna have to do something about the Forest King then, aren't we? Again, that word. Forlorn. Forlorn? Well, that's when they turn to stone or whatever? Who are you? I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. I want to help others. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Whenever you feel ready, you may move on. 
help me sounds like if you're actually stuck, you can come and ask this guy for hints. I want to move on. The path ahead lies behind that door. Do you wish that I open it? Sure do, no, bruv. If you return, you will always be welcome. Open the door. Little one, your journey ahead will not be easy. The path to leave this place is blocked. I will guide others to follow after you clear the way. Aye. Others like me who can help. You will always be welcome here in the forest. Forest campfire. The ghost said, Speak and I will listen. Right, that just resummons him. <laughs> I want to move on. The path ahead is open. But remember, you will be welcome if you return. Okay, don't click that unless you're absolutely sure. <laughs> Can I speak to you? Hello. The stranger said, take care of those you care about the most. The forest, and we've got one circle out of, what's that, eight, seven. Okay, so we've got obviously a path forward, but let's have a look at these other paths, shall we? Oh, we can actually go this way. Okay, I was kind of expecting it all to be blocked off. Is there a damage system? No, it seems like I can just walk into stuff like that and it'll be fine. Need a key to get through here. The old gate was locked. The crow held its shining trophy tight. Ah. Come here, Mr. Crow. You little shit. <laughs> I. Okay, so we're gonna get a way to clear these at some point, I think. The cave entrance was overgrown with dry brambles. Makes sense. There's also a way towards the camera here. Oh, hello. <laughs> One step in front of him there. Need to block the other hole. Can I pick up one of these to do it? The worm looked helpless, with no way to escape. As Ember picked it up, the worm let out a little yelp. Oh, Sorry, little wormy boy. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. What a cute little worm. Okay, nothing else over here. So I guess this was to grab a worm. And then we'll be using the worm to... Uh, Draw the attention of the other crows. Or whatever the birds are. Nothing over here. There's no jump or anything. Because you can't, can't yeet yourself up a ledge. Can I do anything with the fire? Oh, yes. That's funny. He ran all the way around it. Oh, you can actually light up a torch with it. Oh, I wonder if you can burn the brambles with it. Oh, you totally can. Interesting. And then you can go in here. Okay. Okay. It's definitely non-linear. Like...
Oh. I thought I had to... I pressed A to uh, try and burn the cobweb, and it turns out you could just walk through that, but pressing A put my torch out. Oh well. The broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. A broken fishing net, okay. So yeah, it seems like you can go around the world and it's not like you're not being strictly controlled on where you go and when. Finding items that will probably help you in other locations. Oh, is this a shortcut out? Uh, shortcut to somewhere I don't know. Oh wait, is this back at town? Oh, this is back at town! Okay. That's the main door. Well, let's go back this way then. What have we got up here? Oh, this is a gap. I can't cross. Hang about. Around we go. Are we going into one of these puzzle realms? Yes, we are. Okay. A fragile flame torching overgrowth. The stranger shivered in the cold. Oh my goodness. That made me jump. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'm such a wuss. I thought it was going to blow me off. I guess the thing is you can't walk in front of this with the torch. So how do you get the torch to the brambles? There's another one over there as well. I guess let's find out. What's this thing? Just a flamey... Just a ropey thing? Okay, I don't. I can't interact with things while I'm holding this. If I walk in front of this, obviously it's gonna. The road had stolen all walls. Makes sense. Can I interact with this now, though? Yes. Yeah, you have to have that down. They what does that do? Such dark places. Ah, okay, okay. I see. So you. Light it here, then you move it to the other end and grab it at the other end. Perhaps there was another way. Oh, and then you have to grab another torch and then you light it. From that one, okay. You can't just pick out a log. <laughs> uh, I'm right here. Oh, I had to put the, the thing down. Right, makes sense. I really like that animation, man, of the, of the cage disappearing. I really do hope those puzzles get harder as we go forward, because, again, that was... Pretty basic. The stranger blinked at Ember. The two shared a moment of silence. The stranger blinked at Ember. The two shared a moment of silence. Okay, I guess that's all there is to this cave then. Well, let's head back out the way we came in and go further left then, shall we? Explore this branch more. My face when I could totally just jump down here. And uh, <laughs> meet those guys. But I'm not allowed. <laughs> May as well grab a torch to take with us. Who knows if we'll need it. Although, I guess if we're hopping in this pond. He was nestled between the reeds. But it was just out of reach. Good thing we've got a fishing net, hey? Oh, you have to hold... Okay, I thought it was... I thought it would be a click, but you have to hold it and spin the whole thing around. Although, it is broken, so I guess it's not actually going to get it. Okay, I guess we need to uh, the broken net. 
What does it say? Out of curiosity, if I use the worm, what does it say if I try and use the worm? It didn't seem like that would really help. Fair. <laughs> okay, so we need a way to fix the net to be able to grab the key, which will then let us access this door. So, let's uh, head back to town then. Oh, hang on. We can burn that. And then, what is that up there? Inside was a scrap of journal. Oh, that was a I'm cute, so scared. cute little animation. I've never been alone like this before. This is a place between places. It doesn't feel real to me. Okay, interesting. Some kind of note from someone who was here before. Is there something hidden here? Oh my god, there totally is. No, there's totally not. <laughs> God, see, this is where the camera becomes an issue because I'm like, it kind of looks like there's something there, but no, there's... There's not. Okay. Back to the campsite then. Oh, right! This is the dude we just saved. Hey, bro. Ah, okay. And another thing's filled in. So the circles and the number of people there are to save. The stranger said... Take care of those you care about the most. Okay, cool, cool. Well, then let's head right and uh, see where we can, what we can grab from this direction. Want to go? I'm, I'm always like this in any game. I want to go every way except for the main way first. See what there is to find. Go the main way last. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. Hello, lonely fisherman. I see there's a path to go up there, but it looks like it leads to a chain that we need to knock down from the other side. Hmm. That looks like it can be knocked down too. I guess we go through here for now. Honestly, despite, like, obviously the incredible ease of the game so far, it definitely is, like... Not that even for puzzles, they are not particularly puzzling, but it just feels really cute. I don't know, I really like the world. It looks cute. I feel like this is... Okay, what's this mean? You go into the water when I walk in front of you. Hello, little dudes. Hmm, there's, there's places to go. I obviously can't reach that. I suppose it's just a matter of getting them all in the water quickly or something. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's try walking up here. Okay, that's a different way to go. This probably is going to be useful somewhere in here. Does that block you from coming back out? No. <laughs> oh, if I place it here to mirror that guy? I see. Wasn't anything else up here, was there? I can't get along there. No. Okay, let's try going in here then, shall we? The Cave of Solitude. Okay, it's just one of these guys hiding in here. Congested. The stranger was trapped in their head. Right, okay, this is looking a little bit more complicated, perhaps. I think you need to roll these, right? So I need to... Roll that one. Ah, okay, you can roll it backwards and forwards, so you don't need to worry about trapping yourself. Hmm. So I, I think I want to put it there. And then roll that out the way there. No, then roll this 
all the way back here. Thought crowded in on them. Move that one that way. Uh, move this one this way, and then push this one there. Oh, is that it? Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I thought that one looked like it might start getting more complicated. But that was the whole puzzle. I get the feeling like this might not be the kind of game where it's particularly going to get more difficult. It seems like maybe it's just going to be, you know, pretty easy stuff. Which is fine. I would definitely like more of a challenge, but uh, maybe it's not aimed. Maybe it's the aimed. The stranger's voice was hoarse. It lingers, friend. It's hard to let go. Maybe it's aimed at a younger target audience, perhaps. Okay, let's uh, go down here then and see where these little dudes are uh, leading me towards. Oh, right. It's just the other side of these rocks. Okay. <laughs> I see. can go up them and get to this guy. A solitary way, dredging old paths. Stranger's courage lay dormant. They travelled paths long drowned. Can't climb up there whilst that is up. Uh Ah, I see, I see, I see. Solitude was all they knew. The forlorn resisted Ember's kindness. But still, Ember stayed. Nice, <laughs> okay. Wakey, wakey, buddy. The stranger looked down. I took so much for granted. They all just repeat that if you talk to them again, right? The stranger looked down. Yeah. I took so much for granted. Okay, well, I think that's this area pretty much cleaned out. We've got through there. We've figured out the frog secret. We haven't figured out the red frog secret. But it's also entirely possible that there isn't a red frog secret and they just jump in the water. So for now, let's move on through here. The pond. Hey, here's the... Oh, let's, let's knock this down for later. <laughs> Hi there. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. You alright, my dude? Ah. A sorrowful soul meeting the discouraged. The gloom was choking. The fisherman felt so useless and alone. Oh, I need to turn these. I didn't notice the handle on the first one. I think we need to just turn them so that I can walk past it with something later on. Seems sitting out there every day by the pond. Seems likely. Only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. 
Okay, slightly different this time. We are bringing this to him instead of... Thought beating like a drum. Instead of breaking one of these things out being the end. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. It did? <laughs> Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. Inject! For a brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. The fisherman looked at Embo, hoping they would listen. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond. A big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. Tell me more. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. Ember could see the old man struggling with their thoughts. Thanks for listening to me ramble on, Ember. His hat is a fish. <laughs> He's just wearing a fish with a wide open mouth on his head. You've got a good heart in there. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Okay, I need the help catching something. The fisherman noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Here you go. Fancy fixing that up for me? Let me have a look. See what I can do. With a silk thread, the fisherman carefully knotted it together. Pog. With each knot he tied, a net began to form. Here you go. Good as new. Fishing net repaired. Lovely jubbly. So, uh, can't do anything about going over there. But we can now go and grab that key. Wait, what am I doing? I knocked down the tree so I had a shortcut. Oh my goodness. Hi. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. Don't eat me. Show item. The worm. Uh. This was not how Embo had imagined the end. The gurgling of water, a deafening heartbeat. But then... <laughs> he was just transporting me here? Fokker turned Ember's good deed by leading them to a lost forlorn. <laughs> Cheers, lad. Well, that's very, very kind of you. We doing the rollies again, unhindered. The stranger was hoarding doubts. So much had been pushed away. They just wanted to rush on. But their way had trampled others. Nowhere around this thing. Uh, okay. In the end, they were alone. I feel like I should be able to do something with that. Move it further. Oh, I can move this one over it. Right. 
That was the first that was the first time in one of these puzzles that I've had to think for a moment. <laughs> That's a pretty little outfit. I like that. The stranger spoke hesitantly. It feels good to hear a voice other than my own. Hmm. There's something up there, but how would we go about getting it? Not sure. There's nothing to... Wait. Oh, I can just walk up this. I didn't realise. I thought that was a... Uh... Oh, shit. Okay, this place might be bigger than I thought. Oh, this comes out above the pond. Nice. Well, let's move that down then. That's a shortcut. Uh... Okay, let's head back in then. Okay, camera. I'm going to need you to not be this way. I, I, not sure where I am right now. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's that's some awkward camera positioning for sure. It feels like I should be able to walk down here though and get to. Well, okay, I didn't. He started walking out. <laughs> I I didn't actually want to walk out. I must have knocked. It definitely looks like you could just. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. You have to go into the other cave. I've got it. There's a cave down here. And you pull the lever here and then you go back up. There we go. Let's go crack that bad boy open then, shall we? Another journal entry. The Wanderer's Diary. On my lanthorn, playing a hollow tune to ward off the fear, a songbird took its perch beside me. Nice, nice. Okay, so I guess this little uh, offshoot over here doesn't have a purpose then. It's just nothing, I think. Which is odd that, like, why does it even let you walk down there if it's nothing? But... Whatever, not not a big deal. Okay, I think that's everything around here cleared out. Can't think of anything else I needed to look at. Back to the old forest campfire. We've got a lot of people crowded around now. We're missing two. Ah, but we have the key. So we can go and grab... Oh, we don't have the key, but we have the repaired net. So we can go and grab the key from over here. There was also definitely a guy, like... Hmm. Like, he runs away up near the, near the front of the screen when you... When you enter that bit. The key was nestled, but, but it was just out of reach. Yeet.
Ember used the net to catch the key. We love to see it. So this will mean there's one little gap remaining, and that makes me think... Have I missed one person? The old gate was locked. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Or is the final person through the main doors? Uh, like in front of the campfire thing? Submerged, draining an ocean. The stranger asked Ember to leave them be. Sova was long buried. Like, I need that. I need that down here, but as soon as I take this off, it's going to fill back up, right? No? Oh, okay. I guess not. I thought as soon as I took that off, it would, uh, the water would come back up. Whoa. That was weird. Its ebb washed over old walls. Ah. <laughs> the stranger feared Ember's approach. You got nothing to fear, my dude. Show what dark water could hide. Yeet. There's definitely a little bit of like uh, frame dipping, like there, when it makes transitions between animations and stuff. stranger spoke. Thank you for not turning away. Thank you for not turning away. You're welcome. Okay, that is everything I can think of in this area. But there is still one that we've missed, right? There's that guy there, but we can't go this direction. Hmm. Yeah, we're missing one dude. And I feel like it wouldn't be through the big double doors here. Just because of how everything else hasn't been. I feel like... I don't know. I may need to take a quick tour of the joint next time to uh, see if I missed one. But... That is where we will leave it off for part one of The Last Campfire. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the continued running of the channel and the continued buying of new games when they come out or old ones to do series on or what have you. Thank you very much for that, and I will see you next time for more The Last Campfire. Thanks for watching. See you then.